everyone, welcome to episode 1 of Skylar and the Storm, a new series on my channel that I'm very excited for everyone to see. This is going to be a cinematic let's play, or as cinematic as I can make it, and it's going to have a very deep story, a lot of chaos, ups and downs, but hopefully with a lot of characters that you'll also become connected to and invested in. Now here we have Skyla, our protagonist in this series. She is going to be the focus in this series. And as you might have seen from the intro, she was at home earlier and she went out to meet her boyfriend here, Caleb, and is actually past her curfew now. It is 9pm. She spent the evening with him instead of doing homework and things like that. And you might be able to see from her face that she looks a little bit worried. I think she's just noticed because her parents are kind of strict. They're very uptight and they like rules and she usually follows all of the rules in her house but I guess time kind of got out of hand for her today and she is late. Skyla's had a very busy day, she had school, she's a straight A student and then she was hanging out with friends after school, she came home to get a little something to eat and then she went to see her boyfriend and it's already so late. I feel like I would be so tired if that was me but we are going to get her to say goodbye to her boyfriend, she's had a great night but she's got to get home. So, sorry Caleb, but we actually have to say bye. We might complain about our parents actually, just to kind of complain. But I feel like with the type of parents that Skyla has, very uptight, loves reels and everything like that, she has a lot to complain about, but she loves her parents even though she doesn't have the best relationship. Okay, let's not play chess. Can we go home, please? You're gonna get in a lot of trouble, I think, when you get home. So, you better run, and I don't want to see a smile on your face, but I think she had such like a nice night, that's probably why she's so happy. She wants to savor any bit of happiness she can get. Okay, now Skyla is back home and she's gonna try and get home without getting screamed at basically, because in this house, if you don't follow the rules, you can be- oh god. Uh-oh, okay, never mind. I don't think she's gonna be able to get through. Let's see what her dad Byron has to say. The thing is, Skyla's parents don't really like Caleb. He, like, I think there's kind of some family history there. Maybe the adults don't like each other and that's why, like, you know, Caleb's not good enough for her. But Byron is just really not happy with Skyla. He really thinks better of her. He thinks that she should follow the rules and that she knows better and that, you know, she really should know better, basically. And, you know, Skyla really feels like it's not fair. Like, you know, she should have a life. Like, she shouldn't have to follow every last rule and be the perfect daughter. And, you know, she always has felt like she has to be perfect for everyone in her life. And she's tired of it. I think she's mentally tired. Like, it's 9 p.m. She's used to going to bed a lot earlier than this. And she just wants to have a little bit of fun. But I guess her dad doesn't understand that. Why are you posing? Wait, okay, this is why you shouldn't have mods in your game, guys. But yeah, this is a very heated argument. And I think she's trying to, like, get her side across. And she's not really having it. And neither is he. He's really disappointed. Um, and then here comes the mom. Oh, my God. And her very, like, housewife nightgown. She is not happy either, honestly. I think it's really, like a two against one situation, which isn't fair I feel like in any family situation. But Byron is definitely a lot more angry than Jacqueline here. This is seriously not a good situation at all, and I think it's maybe something they're all gonna have to sleep off, so I think Skyla is going to just quit the arguing and just be like, yeah, I was wrong, and hopefully things cool down in the morning. Their relationship's gone down quite a bit. I mean, they didn't have the best relationship, um, but Byron's definitely feeling hurt by this. Skyla, I'm sure, is feeling hurt by this. Oh my god, he's probably saying something that he is going to regret tomorrow or that she is going to feel horrible about for a long time. I don't know why she's like having a breakdown and like posing as they're like yelling at. Um, Jacqueline seems to be yelling at Byron. This is a very toxic situation. I also don't know why they decided to do this in the middle of the street, but I think Jacqueline's basically trying to like diffuse a little bit. Um, Byron's very like unhappy with Skyla's choice and boyfriend, and I think Jacqueline is too. But the mum is definitely a lot more understanding and she's trying to be like, hey, your dad really doesn't like him. You shouldn't be breaking the rules, especially with him, even though we've stayed up till midnight arguing about this. But Skyla is going to go to bed now because it's definitely way too late. And hopefully tomorrow is a better day.
So it is the next morning and Skyla is still feeling quite tense and heated. A lot of pressure has been built on her on the last few weeks. She's got a new boyfriend. There's pressure from that. She's still trying to keep her straight A student life. That's a lot of pressure. Her friendship group, that's a lot of pressure. So I was just staring at a wall there. Um, and obviously trying to please her parents as well and be the perfect daughter. And I feel like she's struggling to kind of maintain all of that like anyone would, far less a teenager, and is starting to hurt her head as she's expressing. Um, it says here that she had a really weird dream and that's from the high maintenance trait, but I feel like honestly, it makes sense for her to have a really messed up sleep and you know, everything like that. But she's going to go to skill today and she's going to try and kind of get rid of that weird feeling she has. And she'll probably hang out with some more people after skill or do something, but she also wants to kind of overcompensate for her parents and make up that. So she's probably gonna really focus on doing homework. In fact, just like Skyla, I forgot that she had homework to do and she didn't do it. She has 30 minutes till school and I don't think she's gonna get it done. She's far too tense and she also forgot last minute. So she's probably just in the mindset of, I'll just leave it, you know what? There's no point, I'm not gonna get it finished. She's kind of like in a defeatist mentality. And don't worry, Skyla girl, I am completely understanding. I've been there many times. I'm sure you guys have too. And the annoying thing is Skyla loves to do yoga, to relax and unwind, but she doesn't even have time for that. So time to go to school. Not even gonna say bye to mom and dad. Dad's going to work. Mom's probably going to some, oh, why is she so dirty, girl? Anyways, she's probably going to some housewives gathering or something like that, I don't know but Skyla is going to try and have a good day at school today, so let's hope she does. So although this series is obviously going to be centered around Skyla's life, I am going to be kind of showing little snippets of her family's life as well, and her mother, Jacqueline, is actually part of a housewives group called the real- I can't even remember what it's called, let's see. It's called the High Society's Ladies. So it's Nancy Langrab and a woman called Christy Bentley, and they are good friends and they consider themselves to be the High Society Ladies of the neighborhood, and she does not look very high society now. She needs to have a bath. The house is a mess. The maid needs to come over. She needs to make some food for everyone. And they're going to have a gathering while Skyla's at school. Jacqueline has such a hard life, as you can see. It's very difficult being her. She's got so much to do, so many priorities to get in check. Here we have her outfit of the day. She's going to go make some breakfast right now. And if I could describe Jacqueline, she's very snobby, very like materialistic. Those aren't her traits though, really. I think she is snobby. She's a snob, a music lover, and loyal. She's not necessarily a bad person, but she is a little conceited. She cares a lot about her appearance. She wants to be seen as very dignified, classy, intelligent. But I wouldn't say she's an evil person or someone that goes out of their way to harm someone, but she does have a very traditional mindset for her daughter in particular. And she does butt heads with Skyla, although Skyla isn't usually very confrontational. She's usually quite compliant with what her parents want. More so with her mum because she does get on a little bit better with her mum. But as I said earlier, I'm pretty sure Skyla is kind of going through a hard time. That's a new maid walking in. And I think everything's starting to build and that's why she's maybe rebelling a bit more. But whether she decides to go on that path is yet to be seen. Okay, now I've started the gathering for the high society ladies. So Jacqueline is going to go upstairs and make some drinks. Let's make drinks for everyone. We'll make some Sauvignon Blanc. Let's do that. <laughs> that sounds really fancy. Excuse me, can you go make some drinks, please? Oh, here's Nancy in her jean vest with that green t-shirt. Okay, she wants to play piano. I guess everyone's fighting for the piano in the bar. Here we have Christy making some drinks, so let's go to the bar over here. Go ahead and order a drink in your own home. Let's go for a red wine since she stole the bar before we could make the Sauvignon Blanc. But this is actually one of Jacqueline's closest friends and actually Christie's daughter, McKenna, who will meet very soon, maybe in the next episode, is actually very close friends with Skyla. So it's kind of one of those situations where your parents friends with someone and then your their kids are friends sort of thing. So yeah, it's a very small area and everyone kind of knows everyone. But for the most part, there are positive relationships, even if at times they are quite superficial. One thing about this series is that you'll never know who to fully trust, okay? A lot of people in real life and in The Sims 2 can be two-faced, very untrustworthy, show their true colors at later times. Maybe even your own mum. <laughs> but Jacqueline cleaned that glass of wine very quickly. That's all gone. 
Um, especially considering it's just Nin, um, but I guess she wants to have fun. We have Nancy here playing the piano, so maybe Jacqueline can practice as well. I'd like to see how good her piano is. Come on, Jacqueline, let's see what you've got. Are you good or not? I mean, she has a music lover. That doesn't mean she's a music practicer. The way she's pressing those keys, girl, that would be me. <laughs> I think that's enough housewife activity for today. I must say I'm really glad I picked this location for the series because Oasis Springs, especially in the summer, is so gorgeous. Considering I'm filming this in the winter in Scotland, very cold, very grey, I love seeing all these warm colours. Okay, Skyla's back from school, but she's not going to stay long because she's actually going to meet some friends in the city at the park and have a little hangout session with them after school. Which will be fun because you get to see all of them and kind of see their group dynamic. Let's just say they're a typical group of teenage girls, very gossipy and very chatty as well. And they do get along, but obviously there's some complexities there as well, so we'll see. Okay, so the girls have been notified to arrive at the park because Skyla is not having a great time. She's very tense, she hated school today, so like bored, not having fun. And here we have the first friend who has arrived, McKenna, that I mentioned earlier. Although Skyla is the leader of the group in the game, I would say out of this friendship group, McKenna is kind of the queen bee of the friendship. She's very confident, very social, she's very good at like coordinating things in her way. And by that I basically mean it's her way or the highway, and anyone who doesn't bow down to her will be shunned from existence. But having said that, she is a very likeable person and Skyla's closest friend. And then the other two friends of the friendship group are Sydney Ingram and Rhea Whitlock. Both are very nice and likeable in the skill and everyone seems to like them. I would say Sydney's a lot more popular than Rhea though, but Rhea is very nice. Another thing about this friendship group is that there's a lot of people talking and there can be a lot of rumours in skill and sometimes some people don't tell other people other things if you know what I'm trying to say that was a very confusing way of saying it. Why are they standing like this? This is very like this is a very symbolic way of how I'm trying to explain this friendship group. There's a lot of talking behind packs and oh my god this is like too funny like I need to take a picture of that what the hell. But I would say Skyla is someone that doesn't like drama, she just likes to have fun and likes good energy. She already has a very busy, hectic life, she doesn't need to complicate that further. But it's nice that she does have some friends that won't really engage in the drama as much. Oh my god, I just said that and then one of them just had a breakdown, but Rhea is that kind of friend that's really nice and really chilled. And of course, when Skyla needs cheering up or needs help, she will go to her best friend for life, McKenna and everything will get better. And because she's been so close with McKenna since they were like infants or toddlers, she would never go to anyone else with her problems. She's still feeling tense from school and life, but I do think hanging out with her friends is helping a little bit. But it is already almost half six at night and she's got a lot of homework to catch up on, so she's gonna go home and try and get prepared for everything that she's got ahead of her. She's gonna do that homework, refresh herself, and hopefully have a better night than last night. Bye, Sydney. <laughs> okay, Skyla is home now, and she actually forgot that both of her parents were going to be away tonight at their auntie's house, at her auntie's house, actually, and she realizes that she's got an empty house, and what better opportunity would there be to invite over her boyfriend, Caleb? Now, of course, after last night, if her parents found out about this, she would be grounded for eternity. Like, imagine you doing this, like, after the night before, like, are you kidding? But Skyla is just so, I mean, she's feeling happier now, but I think that's more so because she had a good time with her friends. And she also realizes that she is home alone and she doesn't have to be around that really toxic presence. But I feel like it would really cheer her up to invite over Caleb and they could have a nice time and catch up and stuff like that. Because they all go to the same school, but they don't really get to spend a lot of time together. So invite Caleb to the current lot and they are going to hang out. Now, despite being deeply connected, Skyla does not actually know a lot about Caleb's traits and things like that. But one thing that she really likes about him is that he's very social and very good to talk to. So I feel like she's probably going to confide in him somewhat about everything that happened and how she's feeling. And of course, they were being very cute as usual. And oh my god, what is this mod? Wait, I've never used this interaction before. It's from this passionate romance mod. Okay, I don't really like that. It looks really weird. In fact, no, it's actually kind of nice, but I feel like with teenagers it's kind of weird, so never mind. But here she is venting with her back turned to him, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's go inside, guys. I feel like everyone's talking outside in this house. They don't want to talk inside. These guys are going to watch a movie and try and unwind and just have a nice evening before her parents get home, which could be any time, honestly. I guess Caleb will just have to go out the back door. Skyla, can you get off your phone, please? That just ruins the whole vibe if you're just going to be on your phone with your other phone. Damn, there's got two phones. 
But this is just so sweet, guys. This just makes me so happy for Skyla because she's had a little bit of a hard time with her relationships and things like that. And she just wants to feel cared about and kind of like she's the first priority rather than her reputation. And that's what she's looking for in Caleb. And she seems to be finding it at the moment, which is really nice. So let's enjoy this really cute moment. Oh my god! Wait guys, what the hell? He's here? Wait, you guys were out! When did that just happen? Oh my god, no. Guys, stop. Stop. They, they don't know that he's here. They don't know. Stop. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, he's terrified. He's like, oh, I've got to go. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, Skyla. If you were Skyla, you'd be like, dad, no, 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 no. Whine about him for life. I'm so like nervous for Skyla, like speechless. The dad is just posing. He's out of here. I feel like after last night, she's still not in the mood to talk to her dad really, but she's crossed the line again and she just wants to be out of here. She does not want to be lectured again and she's probably going to get in a lot of trouble. Oh, poor Skyla. I feel so horrible, literally. Like, come on. Imagine like you just wanted a peaceful night, a nice relaxing night. And although she was breaking the rules, I just feel horrible that this happened and it had to end this way. Even though she didn't get completely yelled at, yeah, bye Caleb. Even though she didn't get completely yelled at like yesterday, I feel like that's what was going to happen and she just is so over it. This was a very brittle first episode for Skyla, but it is Skyla in the storm and the storm is already brewing. There is going to be a lot in store for Skyla and I'm very excited to see what happens and what path she chooses. Skyla's perfect life isn't so perfect and that is going to be something that she realizes a lot throughout the series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first debut episode of the series. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will let you enjoy the more cinematic ending of this video.